Terrorism, revenge, or extortion. It's revenge, isn't it? Uh. <clears throat> Darling, disappoint me. Only dead men let their guard down. <laughs> and tranquility lies in the shade of the saber. Welcome to Timbuktu. There are 30 million names in the naked city. I can only pronounce half of them. Mine's easy, though. It's Dharma, Brad Dharma, psychedelic detective. The case of Colonel Harding and the Philosopher's Stone had led me docks of the village Negre. The hipster elders of our fair megalopolis turned a blind third eye to this seamy underbelly of life. After all, even in a world of grooves and groove knots, there is always the common meeting ground of our baser animal instincts, a casbah of our collective unconsciousness. Look it! A raghead in a raincoat! What's the matter? Afraid to get your ice wet? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name is Dharma anyway? Uh, I'm sick of you people coming over here and taking our job. At least I speak the language better than you. Why are you on a... All right, right, boy. Boyos, let's see you dance together. A telegram from Mr. Dharma. Kill me, please.
taken everything I have. Kill me, please. It's the only thing that makes sense. Really. Why? <laughs> Why? Did I wake you up? That's all right, Mrs. Cavity. I, I, I... Oh, I'm so sorry. Now, where the hell's my money? Moolah, De Niro, Dosh, Do. I don't care how you get it, but get it today. Oh, get out, weirdo. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> about the opportunity for employment you have so boldly advertised. The job's yours if you'll start today. By the way, my name's Tex. Z X X X X. What's the matter? Don't get so excited. You're gonna be needing this once we add the extra secret ingredients. It's an old family recipe that's dangerously delicious. Next. We put the powder in the mixer. You want me to go up there? Nope. I want you to stand right there on the X. Don't move now. He's X! I'm on stick figure theater. Does this have anything to do with that candy cane of a wife of his? You shut up about Ariella. You have no right to even say her name, let alone study... My, my, speaking of flames. She's hardly your type, Cromwell. I owe my life to you, Doctor. And now I will see to it that you get your revenge. I've got dirt on Ledge Whitfield that will finish him. I just need to distract him long enough to get the evidence out of his office. Leave that to me, Princess. You still come here? I'm waiting for Ledge. We're going to the concert. Very romantic. It is. And I wasn't? What did you want, Ariella? I would have done anything. Wasn't Rage, I good? Rage, please. There's nothing to say. Oh, there's plenty to say, Ariella. But I guess I could say it to your second husband instead. You wouldn't. Range, you promised. So did you. To love, to honor, Rage, and to... Rage, please. What do you want? I want you. Leave Ledge, or I'll tell him the truth. That we were married. But... It's simple, Ariella. If I end it, he'll know that you lied to him all along. But if you leave him, it's our secret. We love each other, Range. It'll pass. Do it, Ariella, or I will. Lana Lee? I thought you were going to the concert in the park. Quarterly reports. Do you want to talk? I've got nothing to say to you. Then what are you doing here? 
I wanted to see Dad's old office. I miss him. I miss him, too. You sent him to die in prison. Prison is where he belonged. He was our father, Ledge. He brought it all on himself, Lana. I'm only sorry I didn't see the fraud and embezzlement sooner. Maybe I could have stopped it. Poor Ledge Whitfield, guardian of goodness and integrity. Don't do this, Lana. That's rich. After you tried to kill me, too. I looked for you for months. I hired every native guide in the entire Amazon base, and I... I couldn't stand the thought that you were gone. Is that why you ran home to marry that third-rate cheerleader? That had nothing to do with you. It's not like you and I were... Were what, Ledge? You were everything to me. Gin and tonic. Number five. You're only hurting yourself. I had a father stump. Yeah, and now you've got Range Cromwell pushing you around, treating you like dirt. You deserve better, Raven. Damn right I do. And you could have it. Ledge, I... Oh, I'm sorry. To say the least, I was just going. Lana, wait. I'm sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. But I am. I'm sorry about everything. What are you talking about? I'm leaving, Ledge. I don't belong here. I don't belong with you. Ariella, this is... Don't, Ledge. It's for the best. Believe me. I'm sorry. Okay, Ed, I'll be back in a minute with that beer. All right. Hey, Roland, mind if I play your guitar? Uh, yeah, sure. Just keep it low. The landlord lives right above me, and he gets hella pinched when I start jamming too loud. So be cool, okay? Yeah, I'll be cool, Brawley. Don't you worry. Oh, you said it was cool to play any time I felt fanciful. Well, I'm gonna throw you and your fanciful guitar out if you don't stop playing. If I what? Don't stop playing. Don't stop playing? Yes! Don't stop playing! All right, this one's for you! I saw the landlord masturbating on the roof. Yeah, he was relaxed and feeling quite aloof. Woohoo! So, Mr. Landlord, How'd you like that one? Oh, my goodness. Did you really see me? Please stop singing that. I'll, I'll do anything. You're sick, pal. Oh, the landlord had a drill. Zuma, Zuma, Zuma. Now you can see into Miss McGill's rest of Ruma, Ruma, Ruma. Yo, Ed, I said be cool, brother. I think that's for you. Hello? What? But, huh? Well, all right. Thanks. Really? Thanks. Hey, my landlord just gave me a year's free rent. You lucky freak. My landlord's so cool to me. He gave 